Hi, and welcome to The Beatery. My name is Lori, and I'm the designer here at The Beatery. We'd like to invite you in to watch a few of our brand new how-to videos. We'll be featuring some new products and some old favorites, too. And you'll be able to link back to The Beatery's website. This way, you can find out more information on the featured products and where to purchase them. So come on and join me, and let's have some fun crafting. Today, we are making a pop tab bracelet. You might have seen traditional aluminum pop tab bracelets made from soda or beer can tabs. Our pop tabs are made by the beatery. They are made of impact polystyrene. The beatery pop tabs are smooth on both sides with no sharp edges as aluminum pop tabs have. We also offer five colorways. We have a silver pearl which looks like the traditional aluminum tabs, a mix of black and white, a mix of neon colors, a pastel mix, and a camouflage mix. As you can see, you are able to create very colorful projects compared to just using the silver aluminum pop tabs. You will need the following items. One package of neon pop tabs. You will use 22 for one bracelet. One quarter inch wide black satin ribbon, cut at 40 inches. You will also need the following tools a pair of scissors and a ruler. To make threading your ribbon easier, you can wrap some scotch tape around the end of the ribbon to make a point. Okay, let's get started. First, pick out 22 pop tabs and arrange them by color as desired for your bracelet. For this project, I will refer to the top of the pop tab as the rounded end. Pick up the ribbon and fold equally in half. Now we will be attaching the ribbon to the first pop tab using a lark's head knot. Simply take the loop end of your ribbon and insert it up through the bottom back of the pop tab. Then take the loop and insert it into the top opening of the pop tab. Open the loop and come over the entire pop tab and pull the ends of the ribbon tight and the knot will snug up on the center bar of the tab. Be careful, remember to keep your ribbon ends equal in length. Let's begin weaving the rest of the pop tabs together. Take one pop tab at a time. Round it end up. Thread one ribbon up and into the top opening of the tab. Thread the other ribbon up and into the bottom opening of the tab. Push the pop tab up to the lark's head knot. Take the next pop tab and place it under the ribbon, halfway on top of the previous tab. Thread the ribbon over the new tab, through the new tab, and into the previous tab. Pull the ribbon and keep it smooth and flat. Repeat this step with the bottom ribbon. Take another pop tab. Place it next to the first tab and under the second tab. Take the top ribbon up and through the new tab and through the second or previous tab. Repeat with the bottom ribbon.
and it should look like this. Your next tab, number four, you will place next to the second tab and take your ribbon, go down through the fourth tab and the third tab. Repeat with the bottom ribbon. Basically, you will be repeating the last three steps throughout this bracelet, alternating, placing tabs on the top and on the bottom, giving this bracelet a two-dimensional look. So let's continue adding tabs until you have used all 22. Now it's time to end this bracelet. The last pop tab will be in the bottom position. Thread the top ribbon through the top opening of the last tab. Take both ribbons now and tie an overhand knot. The knot will snug up to the pop tab. Then measure the knot one and a half inches and make a second overhand knot for the closure for your bracelet. You can trim the ribbon as desired or if you like you can add some beads and just overhand knot them to keep them secure on the ribbon. you have your finished pop tab bracelet. I hope you've enjoyed this project and will tune in for more fun beadery projects to come.